Quickie Stampede! Herd immunity, also known as community immunity, is when an infectious disease is stopped in its tracks by a certain portion of the population becoming immune. It's related to a number called the r naught, or the number of people an infected person will go on to infect. With Ebola, that number is just two, so only 50% of the population needs to be immune. With measles, it's 15, so over 90% need to have an immunity. It's another area where people tried rewriting the rules with COVID. The r naught of SARS-CoV-2 is about two and a half, meaning that about 60% needs to be immune to stop it from spreading. The best way of doing that, of course, is with a vaccine. It's how we eradicated smallpox and have eliminated polio everywhere except Afghanistan and Pakistan. But the fact is, the math doesn't care why that 60% is immune, just that they are. And back before the vaccine was widely available, the only way to gain an immunity was by getting infected, which meant that the proper strategy, backed up by decades of epidemiology, was to engage in targeted protection of the vulnerable to keep them from getting it, but letting the healthy people, those who might get a bit sick but won't have their health seriously threatened, become immune so the rest can be protected. Take it from someone who had it, not the most fun solution but things probably would have worked out a lot better if we'd taken that approach. Instead, what we've been told from the follow the science people is that immunity from getting the virus doesn't count, only immunity from a vaccine. Previously, the WHO had defined herd immunity as indirect protection from an infectious disease that happens when a population is immune either through vaccine or immunity developed through previous infection. In November, they changed that to say, a concept used for vaccination in which a population can be protected from a certain virus if a threshold of vaccination is reached. Herd immunity is achieved by protecting people from a virus, not by exposing them to it. That is irresponsibly bogus. If you're immune for whatever reason, you contribute to herd immunity. Misleading people in that way can only lead to bad things. It's great that we finally have the vaccine, and maybe we can soon put COVID in the rear view, but it's only a matter of time until something like this happens again. And then you'll have to decide who you're going to listen to, the people who say follow the science, or the people who are actually following the science.